Hello, I want to share with you guys how to make this necklace. With the same necklace, you can also achieve the second look. Let's begin by measuring the length of the shortest and longest you want your necklace to be. And here's my two, the longest one and the shortest one. You want to repeat this till you have seven total. So here's my seven, and don't worry about the beads yet. It should just be wire right now. You want to cut out your wire first, and you see the length from the shortest to longest? That's how you want yours to be. Now take out your beads. I got these from Walmart for $1.50. And with one end of the wire, you're going to bend it into a loop or so circle like this using your round nose plier. Afterward, the other end, end of the wire, you want to just put the beads through all the way to the end. And you want to repeat that to all seven. So here's the end of the wire and I'm just going to put another loop through there to secure the beads in place. And it should look like this and you should have a total of seven. So this is what it should look like. And the longest one is at the bottom, the shortest one is at the top. It's important that you keep it in that order uh, from longest to shortest or from shortest to longest because that's the order we're going to put it in. Now I'm just opening each jump ring and putting it through um, each end of the beads. So I'm working on the left side first and afterward I'll be putting the beads through the right side. So this is the first jump ring that I'm putting in and you should repeat this uh, six more times on this side and then seven times on the other side. look like this when you're all done on both sides. Next we want to take this bigger jump ring compared to the one on the right. That's the one you put through each side of the beads. But now we're going to use the bigger jump rings. And you're going to need two of those. And here I'm just going to open it up so I could loop all the beads through here. This is the one that's going to hold all the beads together. So I'm starting from the longest uh, bead. And you have to put it in order, so from longest to shortest. That's why it's important to keep it um, organized earlier so that it'll be easier for you when you get to this part. Now I'm repeating it on the other side. So again, longest to shortest. And when you get to the end, you can just close the jump ring up again here okay so that part's done with and it should look like this you just want to bend the two ends together for the chain part you want to take out your measuring tape and this is how I'm going to measure how long I want the chain to be And if you're wondering, my chain is 10 inches long. After that, um, you want to cut out your chain according to the length that you like. And here's my chain. Next, you want to take your jump ring. And then you want to hook your chain on there. And then your beads through the larger ring. Close that. And repeat on the other side. When you're done, it should look like this. Now we want to add a closure, so bring the two ends together. Find the center of the chain here and cut it. Open a jump ring, loop it through the chain and close it. And then open up another jump ring. This side, we're going to put a closure. That's the closure. And then we're gonna put our other chain through. Now just close that, and that's it. 
so this is how it looks like and if you want the second look you just want to hold the center of the beads and twist it keep twisting it till it comes it comes all together so after a while it should look like this and then you just fix it and you can wear it so you can wear it two ways this way or the other way and there's a closer look and that's it bye guys